We could do Starting. this maybe. That might be an interesting demonstration. Yeah, so you have a demonstration to show off the power right, of the yeah, Apple. No, no, Wait, no, can, no, this is the Commodore. No, people can try something at home. We're going to bring up in a separate window the Apple II. Wait, is that the first product by Apple that's like a personal computer? The first product was the Apple I. But then so we, who made the Commodore? Commodore is like a type of Apple. Yeah, yeah, the Commodore was before, right? That came out maybe one or two Nin years before. 1977, right? Uh, it might be 79 or something like that. Okay. 78, 79. Let's quickly bring it up on Wikipedia. Yeah. And see what it says. So you programmed video games into this thing? You had very simplistic ones. Oh, look, yeah, that was nice and expensive. Man, $4,100 wow. in the old days. 1977. Herman, 48, years ago. 48 years ago. So how old are you? A hundred and seven? I'm now, nobody wants to know really. But six, Can we calculate your age on that calculator we had earlier? Or that's possible. That's possible. Let's <laughs> bring it up here. Let's see. Where is the calculator for okay. this? So here then we would say, we would then say today we have 2025. Yeah. And then we say subtract from that yeah. 1961 uh -huh. minus. Oh. Oh, six times 64. And You're 64.00 years old. That's very important. The point zero zero, <laughs> I think, gives me additional confidence that the date is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so describe to me. Do we still have, we're still going? We're fine. We're just going to record all this. So describe to me your first program, like your first game that you made on the Commodore, whatever the heck that Commodore is. Oh, I don't the P E T, yeah, personal the electron, yeah. personal electronic transactor. Sounds like a precursor to AI. Yeah, PET, personal electronic transactor. Let's quickly see if we find that game. Uh, let's see, what would be. Well, we have to quickly look at wait, it. Wait a second. We can find the game online that you programmed? No, no. I didn't program it to start with. First, you had to type it in from the computer magazine because you didn't even know yet how to program. Oh. But if you type in enough games from a computer magazine, after a while, you get the hang of it. So you can't, like, just buy a game, plunk it into the computer. You have to program it, and then you can play it? No, yeah, let's show it to you. We're going to show basically, we're going to bring up here Commodore Pet Emulator online. And so then we have this here now. This is basically a website that emulates um, how this whole thing works. Oh, wow. And there's basically a whole website that shows what you had. Now, my computer only had 7,000 instead of 15,000. Wow. It's free. Yeah. This is the fantastic computer. Yeah. And then you have here the keyboard. Oh, that. wow. Look at that, man. And so then you could basically try to make games out of these funny graphical symbols there, right? Wow. And here, I think the very first game that I had came from a program library. So we would say um, that would be... Um, well, let's try out, that's almost unbelievable. I don't know which one to choose now. These are better than what I had, but we're going to try this out and see if it runs. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Oh, save. What now? <laughs> do you want to, do you want to pause it? We're going to come to that in a moment. Mansfire. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, where's the, where's the game? Let's 